And here we have it, Dark Souls 1. So, brightness seems fine. Hold on, subtitles hard. Okay. Character name. Class, so. Warrior, Knight, Wanderer, Thief, Bandit, and I can't do any of those. I think I might go Bandit just for the Strength and Endurance starter, seeing as I'm planning on going with, um, what's Warriors, 13, 13. I'm going to go Bandit, seeing as I'm going to be getting the guy as I hand early on. Uh, what shall we do for... Blessing... Old Witches, Tiny Beings... Screw the Master Key, can't be bothered with that. Pendant does literally nothing. And their are usables. Um, I'm gonna get the witch's ring. So you have all these that just mess up what the armour is going to look like because the armour is only really put together to look good on average or very slim. I'm going to go with average. We shall go for Astora, because everybody likes Astora. And we shall have a ponytail. And it shall be gold. So now it looks vaguely like me. Yeah, Beth used to play the most toxic game in existence, so... Also need somebody to ping Charlie. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. I'm probably only going to be playing for about 10 minutes or so anyway. Nito, the first of the day. I will probably die when I do my mad dash for the Zweihander, but... The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. <laughs> and 
Yeah, do a prediction if you want. Let people bet so points on it. Easily forgot. <clears throat> With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Lucky. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone scales. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Real and fucking Nito. And Seath the scales betrayed his own. Seath the Lord of Dragons were no more. Ain't you got no love? Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. Or undead. I should and specify as well this is the original one, not the remake one. The undead so I expect and led to the janky physics and textures. Where they are locked away to await the end. on me, why don't you? Hello. Hey, look, it's key. I need to get used to these controls again now. Ah, oh, B is roll. Big demon. We'll be seeing you later. And then... That was not a backstab. That's a backstab. Playing with controller. Because the game is designed for controller.
you can just see the demon up there waiting for me. But yeah, foot fighting him, how much damage you do. If you ever want to fight him at the start, you take the fire bombs. I think something like three or four fire bombs kills him. Otherwise, you spend about an hour and a, an hour or so chipping away his health. Look at this cunt with the arrows. Ow. Um, oh yeah, move calm. Put you... Go top right. Just stay there for now. Because all you're really covering is my menu there. There's no important information up there. Shield. Come on back here, you. And my axe. And now we will never use that straight sword again. <laughs> Bad. Traverse the white light. There's our buddy who gave us the key. This is the awkward one where you've got to sprint, jump. Open the shortcut. Hello. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Sunny D. Oh, and this. And a now key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Now I must... I would hate to harm you. And thank you. Nah, he's alright. Leave him be. You gave me Sunny D, so he's alright. And he's dead. And we have used the key.
<gasps> See, this is why Brina gets paid the big money. Stop it. That's not a good sound. And this is locked. Oh look, he's looking at us. Right in the face. You can still hear the other one stomping around underneath. Can't remember if there's anything around here, I don't think there is. Just a couple of little bits you can explore. Oh no, there is. An item. Some souls. And now to meet our friend. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall return. Oh yeah. That's what I should be doing actually. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage yeah. to the land of the ancient lords. So you can all see the nice big reflection Lord. under my glasses. And now everybody's favourite area. Where I am going to do a mad dash to try and get the weapon I want to use. The undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But Hi, there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Thank you, enemy guy. 
I'll move that box so people can actually see it properly. So, which stuff do you mean from Petrus, Sherry? Because he only has the the coin that he gives you in fake miracles, isn't it? There. I, I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. He look, he knows his social distancing. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Copper coin. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yes, Very even well. though I won't be using them. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Yeah. Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. So there's the miracles that he sells, and the tar talismans for casting miracles. Shrug. My companions are Milady and her young knights. She is young but burdened by an undead mission. <gasps> we are Sherry with all the back seating. To keep her from Like home. I've not played this game before. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot share that with you. But you are my pupil. <laughs> Perhaps if you show your faith. Mm, I'm afraid off. that... Right. Now to do the mad dash for the item that I want. So, past these bastards, grab this. This is the thing that I want. Oops. Oh, one of them fell off. The thing that I wanted was this, which I don't have the stats for yet. So I need 24 strength and I've got 14. And I need 10 dex, so I need one more point in dex. Until I have that, that's all I'll be able to do with it. But yeah, that's what I'll be using once I have the stats for it. Which I don't actually need that much, because I'm pretty... If I remember right, you don't need the full amount to do hand stuff. Why can I not sit at this bonfire? 
It's just bugging out. Or is it because this guy is too close? Set at the bonfire. Yeah, Kirk Hamill was good because you could switch it between everything. So when you had it transformed, you had the big splatty hammer. But in the other mode, you got the small, fast sword that you could stab and slash with. But yeah, I am a big of a fan of the big splashy we splatty weapons. So. Both oh. had the same idea there. Come on, you two. cloth rubbish <clears throat> what you mean those pants Covered up a bit by my chest piece. Not doing it naked, Brina. Rubbish. Q. 
humanity. I always forget how to get up to that bit. And then everybody's figure. If you want an OP weapon near the start, you get it off him. So that's what Dave did when he played through it. on the top bit. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah, surprise guy. The merchant not around here somewhere. See out on this bit. Yeah, he is. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> He's got a creepy face. Chain armor, clubs, rapier, and this. May as well get this as well. Thank Just you. Just so we can tell people they've got nice messages. Yeah. 
this half and we'll make the bonfire now anyway. Boss is a way off yet, Alex. Gotta make it through the rest of this area. Ah, uh, this is the bit I was looking for before. Throwing knives, which I won't be using. the crossbow which I won't be using The first boss can accidentally kill himself as well. I've seen it happen a couple of times. You know, there's a gap in the wall, Sherry. It can jump backwards. If it does that, it just falls straight off. See, first time I played the game, this is where I first got invaded as well. In this tiny little area. And then there's these assholes. There. More fire bombs. More fire bombs. Gold pine resin. Which one is that? Is that one the lightning or is that one the holy? Lightning. That prediction boss was the very first one in the asylum, Alex. It popped up just before it.
and you've got that guy down there who we will not be fighting yet. And the trap. is locked. <laughs> there he is back here I mean, I could just use the cheese strategy for it, but I'm going to fight him properly after I've killed these two. Ow! I'm rolling too late every time. Yeah, I could make him jump, Sherry, but that's the G strategy and you don't actually fight him that way, you just land on his face every time. Man.
I did check earlier when it was that we played this last day and it was in 2014. Because that was when you got the, uh, the Gwyn achievement. So yeah, the cheese, cheese strategy is you go up here and kill these guys. And then when the boss actually comes, you run up here as well and then just do plunging attacks on his face every time. We did it. I'm sure the right is in these sometimes. And yeah, Alex, rolling through the barrels like this is like a, a tradition in the FromSoft games. So like you were rolling through all the jars and stuff in Bloodborne, there's like stacks of barrels and stuff like that everywhere in all the games. That's a lie, it's not a dragon. So yeah, ominous. We're unlocked. And then down here we have everybody's favourite friend. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Everybody loves this guy. find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Praise the sun. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yes. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Jolly cooperation. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits. I wonder if Scott's actually watched any of this, because I've not seen him in chat. Jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I Not even read my message. Dick. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. 
If he misses, <laughs> he must be blind. <laughs> if I can remember what you have to do to stop it, Dave, I will. I oh, think it should just going to open the path and I kill all the things in it. To gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. And yeah, this is the view he's enjoying. Which is quite a good one for when this game came out. Like those rays of sunlight effects. And then the sun in the distance. Right, so where was the nearest bonfire to here? Under the bridge, isn't it? Mad dash time again. Just about made it. Um, back down to the bonfire. So we have the first proper boss done, so we shall be finishing there because I spent longer than I expected than I would on finishing off Deliver Us the Boon. I needed Dex up one for the Zweihander and then just more strength. Just check see if I can two hand this by hander yet. Uh equipment by hander. Hold with both hands. Ugh. Looks like we can two hand it. Anyway, we shall finish there to continue it again next Saturday. So, thank you for watching everybody. We finally fixed the moon and saved Earth and we've made a start on Dark Souls. So, let's see who's online to raid, shall we? It's bound to be somebody. I think Alex said he was going to be starting this evening as well. I wonder if he's started up yet. When are you starting up, Alex? Is it now? Are you starting up later on? If you're starting on now, up now, I'll just raid straight over. And yeah, I will reverse hollowing at some point because I'll probably need it later on and then we can have fun with the uh, people trying to invade and stuff oh yeah we should have my emotes for next stream as well are supposed to be done by Monday I think it is we'll see yeah January 4th so my emotes should be ready by then then I'll just need to upload them and get them approved He's either dead or he's frantically running to start his stream now. One of the two. 
But yeah, I need to message my friend Scott and call him a dick for not being online or not even watching the stream. Like he's, it was his forfeit was the reason. I got three of Richard the Teddy. So I got one of him hugging a heart, kind of like the mellow emote there. One of him jumping for bark joy, uh, one of him looking angry. So I don't think I'll be able to have three emote slots straight away. I think I'm a while off that yet, but I'll have them ready. Aha, Alex is going live now, so we shall raid our way over to him. It looks like he's playing Mario 64. Ooh. So, everybody say hello to Alex. Enjoy his Mario 64 play. Bye everybody. I will see you probably on Tuesday. I just need to work out what time because I know I'm working longer hours next week. But I'll post it up in the Discord. And we'll be continuing with Two Point Hospital. We might be subbing that out for Subnautica. Depends how stuck we get. I will see you all soon. And thanks for watching.